give up they didn't uh, but we gotta we gotta put a team away and uh, we weren't able to do that we let them back in uh, but we were able to show a lot of a lot of grit and toughness at the end and, and get it done so I'm awfully proud of these guys uh, these last two weeks are uncharacteristic of Sycamore football uh, these guys uh, you know never batted an eye came out uh, to work and prepared to win and uh, they showed it out today you wanted to get more physical. How pleased were you with the physical play on both sides of the ball today? Well, uh, you know that was the message uh, Sunday. Is uh, is we're going to attack, and we're going to attack in the way we call plays. We're going to attack uh, the way we're going to play, and uh, that's always been our our mo. And uh, and it was no different. Uh, we made an emphasis as we always do, uh, and uh, I thought we responded. You know, we went after punts. We blocked a punt. Uh, we took our shots, uh, we went after the quarterback, uh, we pressured him, we put him down. I don't know how many times, I think Anoke may have had four or five sacks in the first half. Uh, we had to pressure that guy, they've got the leading receiver uh, in, in the country, uh, in Houston. He's a really a good player and we put J.J. Henderson on him all day and uh, he responded. And uh, uh, awfully proud of these guys and the way they approached uh, Monday and how we practiced uh, all week. That pressure on the quarterback, uh, you know, for a team that wants to, uh, you know, put the ball in the air, just, you know, obviously uh, tell me about the importance of that and getting them off balance a bit to start the game. I know they probably emphasize wanting to start better, and that didn't happen for them. No, you know, I think, you know, that was going to be key, you know, is we were going to we were going to attack their uh, wide receivers. We were going to pressure them. Uh, we were going to cover them and make them have to throw them in small spaces. And, uh, you know, he, he let one kind of air, and Caleb Newman made a heck of a play that kind of gave us some momentum. And, uh, but, uh, you know, that's a good team. You know, they came back, and you know, I said earlier, Todd, you know, they came back from 21 nothing to Southern Illinois, went to overtime, they're down 35 to 7 to Youngstown State, came back and beat Youngstown State, they're down 55 to 21, and come back and lose 62 to 55 to Eastern Washington. The reason why I say it, because I, I put it in our, our guys' head, uh, this team will not give up, and nor did we. Uh, the running game uh, was where you wanted to be today as well. Uh, tell me about uh, about that, and obviously very important to what you want to do offensively. Yep. What, what do you feel like was uh, the first uh, factor in that? Well, I think you know we, we've been close on some plays. Um, you know, PD breaking the one uh, was a long time coming because I think we're <laughs> we're a shoestring away from from breaking one here and there. And you know, we got that one. Uh, you know, and, and that kind of set it off. But you know, up front, I thought we, we, you know, we controlled the line of scrimmage in the run game. Uh, I thought we we, we ran hard uh, with Petey. I thought Derek McLaughlin got in there and ran hard. I thought Zach Larkin got in there when we used him in the Wildcat and ran hard. So, uh, but we got to continue to push the push the line of scrimmage and keep attacking up front. You got Anthony running the ball a little bit too. You know, some of it wasn't by design, but he showed you know the mobility that we've talked about a lot this year and. Kept some drives alive with his yep. feet. Uh, I'll get to more of his game in a second, but that sort of, you know, kept the Western off balance a little bit too. I thought. Yeah, no question. You got a quarterback that can elude pressure like he can and, and extend plays. Um, you know, that, that, that's a, another weapon. You know, and Anthony has that. Uh, you know, he's you know, he's uh, he's a tough kid. You know, uh, I'm not sure where he's going to be at at the. Uh, uh, start of the week, but uh, you know I, I didn't doubt it because he's a tough kid. I knew he'd be out there today, and he did. He practiced all week, and, uh, but he's got the the uh, he's got the uh, ability to elude some pressure, which he showed today. What did you like about his passing game today? You know, I I thought there was times I thought it looked really good. I'm gonna have to watch the film a little bit closer. I know he's 15 and 21, um, you know, and I thought he was uh, pretty clean on anything. I didn't see him make any bad decisions. Um, but I guess 
now that I'm kind of thinking through it, I'd say he played pretty well. You mentioned it, I mean, Western, their trademark has been comebacks, and they, you know, they're like the Terminator, they just never go down. But you did get some turnovers in there to, to blunt them a little bit. I mean, where, I mean, they made a comeback, but are you okay with how the fourth quarter went? Uh, I mean, it, it didn't get to the point, I mean, it got to 16. Um, it didn't get to the point where it was a one-possession game. Is that, I don't know if it's you know, set fireworks off about or anything, but they, they kind of got into it, but in a way they, they never really did. Well, you know, I th you know we, we got down in the one yard, you know, we're, we got we got to score. You know, we're kicking field goals when we need to be scoring touchdowns. And, uh, you know, I, I kicked a field goal, I took the penalty to kind of help with the angle of the kick. Uh, and, uh, you know, Allen came through and, you know, made it a, a gain that was going to have to be a two-score two, two possession with two two-point conversions. Um, but, you know, the bottom line is when we get down there, man, we we got to score touchdowns. And uh, and we will score touchdowns. You know, we, we, we've certainly done be we did better today in moving the ball and scoring points. But there's still a lot of points out there we left on, left, uh, left on the field. 18 rushing yards against, according to that sheet upstairs, we had it at 28, so we'll get that straight up. But either way, that's an outstanding effort. A lot of that has to do with the quarterback pressure, but uh, but a lot of it is just pure stopping the run. Uh, uh, obviously, that's uh, quite an effort from uh, from the front lines there. Yeah. Well, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, I think we we attacked, and when they did run the ball, it seemed like we had a lot of guys uh, attacking the football. You know, a guy getting wrapped up. Uh, on the run, uh, we, we've got we've got to be able to do a better job of keeping the quarterback in the pocket. You know, we let him out too many times, or we would have had ten sacks today. And uh, you know, there's the other thing that you know we tackled better, but we're still not a great tackling team. And so that's got to improve, and we'll get back to work, and we'll, we'll tackle on Monday. Just the you know the, the not relief, but you know you can. Go through a week now on the, on the basis of a win, uh, conference win. What does that mean for your preparation for Missouri State? Well, it's it, it's it's big, you know. Um, you know, we're going to Missouri State. Uh, that's the next opponent. That's 100% of our focus right now. Um, but it's huge, Todd. You know, to uh, to get that first win. You know, we're three and three right now. Uh, we got a great opponent, a ranked opponent, going to their place. Another big challenge. So. Uh, but the preparation will start tomorrow, and it will continue all the way until Saturday on kickoff. Hey, Kurt, when you're looking at this game as a, as a fan, as a reporter, it looked like your, your kids played well in all three phases of the game. Would you agree with that, even though I know you're fine, you want to find the perfection in it, too? Yeah, you know, um, well, I'll just say this. Our, our penalties is, is embarrassing. You know, for us to have that many penalties is ridiculous. You know, and uh, we're going to get that cleaned up. Uh, I've never had 113 yards of penalties uh, since I've been here, uh, and, and that'll be the last time. I promise you that. We'll we'll get that cleaned up. Some are self-inflicted. Um, you know, they had 40, we had 113. You know, so uh, you know whatever it is, we're going to take a hard look at it. Some are self-inflicted. Uh, we got to do a better job of. Um, you know, hitting the returner and celebrating those things, I'm going to address first thing tomorrow. Um, but we've got to clean that up. How do you feel that you know, your team came out of South Dakota State, South Dakota, in preparation for this game? Well, I think they responded. Um, you know, when I uh, spoke with them on Sunday, uh, you know, they, they didn't, ex I, I didn't think that they would, well, they know me well enough to know that I'm not going to go in there and tell them everything's okay, because it's not. And uh, you know we got after them. I think they, you know, they they knew they knew what was coming, and they knew what they had to do. And they came out Sunday, and uh, and, and knew it, saw it on film, and came back Monday, came back Tuesday, came back Wednesday, came back Thursday, came back Friday, came back ready to go today. And that's exactly what we're going to do tomorrow, uh, so we don't ever feel like we did it after the South Dakota game. I thought one thing your team did, and you and I talked about it earlier this year, was you changed things up a little bit. You weren't as predictable, I think, on offense today. Yeah. And I know that's something that you, you and I talked about. Was that something you were striving to get some of the predictability out of it? Well, you know, I think, you know, we're not going to make excuses for one. You know, we're going to look for solutions. And, 
And that's what we did. You know, how can we help these guys? How can we help them make plays, taking shots, keep putting guys in position? And uh, and that's what we did. I thought our coaches did a great job of finding ways to uh, make plays, um, to get the ball down the field. Um, we had some explosive plays, most explosive plays we've had uh, all together in one game than we've had all year. And uh, I thought our players responded. Would you say this is your best effort of the year? Even though you've gone easy. It's, it's, it's our best effort. execution of the year. Okay. Um, you know, I'll look at the effort. Um, I think our effort is good. Um, but I think our execution when we when we had to make some plays was much better than it's been. I, th I thought you did a good job using Larkin in different places. Something you had planned coming into the week? It, yeah, we've been trying to get Zach the ball. Uh, you know, he scored a touchdown down there uh, on a pop pass. Um, had a throwback on a couple, two, threw two throwbacks. Had him on a wheel route here. Um, but, you know, he's a big, tall, rangy guy. And, you know, he's he's a guy, you know, we use him as a wildcat. So uh, that's what I mean. Our coach has done a great job, you know, of looking at ways to, you know, we're going to get some guys back. You know, that's going to help uh, because I thought the guys that had to step in got better. You know, they did some good things. And so we started adding some guys back into the mix. Uh, you know, we're going to be all right. You expect it to be better when you go to Missouri State than Switch Cone? Hope so. Okay. Hope so. No more on Monday. Uh, certainly hope so. I think Dante Hendricks and Michael Hopper were, uh, uh, if it was up to them, they would have played. Okay? I'll just tell you that right now. You know, uh, we're going to do it, uh, what's best for each young man. And, uh, you know, they're 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. They think they're made of steel. We don't want to do anything to jeopardize the rest of the season. And our doctors are the best in the country. Indiana State's going to always take care of their young men. And we've got the best help, or best medical care. And the uh, best thing for them is to uh, go full speed starting Monday. Thank you, Kurt. You bet, buddy. That's it. All right, guys.